My name is John DeBerry. I'm a professor of aeronautics and bioengineering at Caltech. One of the benefits of being a professor at Caltech is that we have an interdisciplinary environment. In my particular case, I spent several years studying fish swimming in the ocean, but the fact that colleagues around me were thinking about problems related to aerodynamics and related to wind turbines always had me thinking about ways that I could apply my knowledge to that particular area. Our work on fish schooling showed us that groups of fish can actually swim more effectively than the individuals would by themselves. Similarly, we took that inspiration to show that the individual wind turbines can actually be improved in their performance by placing them in arrangements in which they can interact with their neighbors. Flow is the Caltech Field Laboratory for Optimized Wind Energy, located north of the Caltech campus in the Antelope Valley, where we have 24 vertical axis wind turbines, which we can test under various configurations and also under various wind conditions. At the end of the day, our goal is to determine configurations that can generate the most electricity from the wind. Oftentimes, the turbines at the front are doing quite well, but those in the middle of the array or toward the back are not performing. It's one thing to have a theory on paper or even to prove it out in a wind tunnel. It's another thing to really show that this works in the, in the real world. And so the field laboratory allows us to test these new concepts in real wind environments. I assigned a couple of students who were in one of my classes to study this problem mathematically at first, to create some models to predict how this uh, fish-inspired wind farm could perform relative to the status quo, and they came back with predictions of tenfold improvements. Uh, at first I told them to go back and try it again because I assumed that they made a mistake, but in fact that's what the predictions said. And that result was so compelling that we decided to start the field laboratory to study this in the real world. And it's been very rewarding to see that those predictions are actually borne out in the field. We've designed these wind turbine farms in a way that the wind direction actually doesn't matter. This is important for wind farm sites where the winds can change from the Santa Ana's coming from one direction to the typical prevailing winds from the west. We've also tried to optimize the rotation direction. So not all of the turbines will rotate clockwise from a top view. That design concept actually came from our inspiration in fish schools, where often you'll see that the vortices that they shed in the ocean, the swirling currents behind their tails, also rotate in opposite directions. A typical horizontal axis wind turbine farm will generate about two to three watts of power per square meter of land area. By contrast, we've shown in our field research that these vertical axis wind turbine arrays can achieve factors of 10 greater. I think most people are surprised by these results because they're not intuitive. It goes against the grain of what's conventionally thought to be the next steps in wind energy technology. We believe that these smaller turbines in the correct arrangements can not only be more efficient from an energy perspective, but also be more economical and reduce the environmental impact of wind energy. One of the main thrusts of our future work is in designing new vertical axis wind turbine designs that are ideally suited for this new paradigm in which the turbines interact with one another. And unless you're actually out there, it's hard to really appreciate the challenge of being one of these structures and facing those environmental conditions. So a place like Caltech, I think, is inspiring in the sense that there are often going to be these surprising connections between various technologies. And in this case, we've come across a technology that we're excited about its impact for society. So I hope that one day driving down the road, you'll see these turbines right alongside the large propeller style ones that you see today.